next thing we're going to talk about is capacitors. You know, battery works on storing electricity in a chemical form. Capacitors store electricity in an electrical form. Now I'm going to have to put this down while I'm doing this demo here. Okay, we're going to throw some sparks. Capacitor has a positive and negative terminal. The current goes in, it's stored between the two plates, and it discharges very rapidly. Now, a battery can discharge current over hours and hours and hours of time. A capacitor, on the other hand, will discharge very, very quickly. The gap's discharged now. Okay, fully charged. Fully discharged. Fully charged. Okay, that's how fast a capacitor charges and discharges. Okay, you do that with a battery, you're going to burn this wire up. But a cap charges that fast and discharges that fast. Okay, so let's take a look at a fuse. It's a 50 amp fuse. Put that in there, charge the cap, discharge it through the fuse. Okay, it's a 50 amp fuse. We're not burning that fuse up. Any idea what the maximum discharge rate on a cap is across a dead short? It's over 500 amps. Okay? 500 amps through a 50 amp fuse. Any idea why? Because you're not heating that element up enough to burn it. Fuse, you have to send enough current through it for a long enough period of time for it to heat up and open. So that's one thing we're going to talk about in a minute is fuses. Be careful not over fusing. So if you put too big a fuse in something, we'll talk about bad things that can happen there. Anybody ever charged a cap up backwards? All right. Well, charged up backwards. Same thing. Charge, discharge, charge, discharge. Okay? And that's backwards. The cap is not going to explode. It's not going to blow you up. It's not going to kill you. You charge it up backwards and leave it charged up for 10 minutes, a little hole there, it's going to spew antifreeze all over everybody. Okay? You charge it up backwards in somebody's trunk, and you hook it up backwards accidentally, and uh, they come back an hour later and go, man, my car smells like antifreeze, and there's stuff all over the trunk. Yeah, you put the cap on backwards. But it's not going to explode. Okay? Now, you know the reason they have the little resistors? They say charge the cap with that resistor in place, so your terminals don't look like mine. See how they're all burnt? But uh, we're going to charge this cap up real quick. 12 volts, fully charged, okay? 12 volts. 12 volts. 12 volts. Not going to hurt you. Okay? Now, if you have a wedding ring on and you have your wedding ring and you short it out, you're going to smoke your ring, your wife's going to be ticked, and uh, you're going to have a burn on your finger. Other than that, it's 12 volts. It's not going to hurt you. For a cap to be effective, this wire is way too long. You put a fuse in line with it, it does you no good. Take the cap, if you want to install it, about that close to your amplifier. Short little pieces of wire, because the resistance of this piece of cable is high enough that it negates the effectiveness of the cap. It's a $200 piece of audio jewelry at that point. Okay. Even if you put four rock cable that long, it's still enough resistance to negate the use of the cap. All right. One last thing, caps are designed to help with stabilizing the input power supply of the amplifier. It, You've got your voltmeter on the input of the amplifier, and for some reason the amplifier is shutting off. You hit big bass notes and it's shutting off or whatever. Check the voltage at the input, and if it drops below you know, whatever the minimum voltage is for that amplifier and it's shutting off, the cap may help, maybe. If, you, if you're listening to music that has real transient, real quick transients and kick drums. But if you're using test tones or you know music with test tones mixed in, the real hardcore long-term stuff, the overall voltage is just going to drop. This cap's not going to help. So uh, caps can help. Not always. I'm not saying sell them or don't sell them, but try them out before you sell them. Anybody tells you put a cap on to stop your headlights from dimming? Put the cap on your headlights. Okay. Caps are designed to help your amplifier, not your headlights. If your headlights are dimming and you don't want them to, you need a bigger alternator. You need to get more juice in the system.